A judge says it will take a little more time before a group of displaced families in Newport News can go home. Safety issues forced those who live at Seaview Lofts to leave the property one week ago today. Alex Littlehills has new developments and what the judge's ruling means for these families. Burnett Scarborough says she didn't get the answer she'd hoped to hear Friday. Because it's uprooted my whole family. One week ago to the day after residents vacated this now condemned apartment building, a judge ruled Seaview Apartments LLC in contempt of disobeying court orders over the building's ongoing code issues. Despite a court order, the owner of the Seaview Lofts apartment building is not physically here. I appreciate your question, but I'm not going to be answering any questions today. His legal representation said a death in the family prevented him from being here. According to witness testimony from leaders with the city's code compliance and fire marshal's offices, parts of the building are still not up to code, like the apartment's elevators. Of the building's two elevators, one still cannot physically make trips up or down. The other elevator, while operational, still has issues with its phone system, travel cables, and its ability to respond in emergency situations. Fire marshal officials also say there are issues with two boilers inside. The judge said he will not consider lifting the condemnation of the building until at least one elevator is up to code. And part of that ruling entails Seaview Apartments LLC reimbursing the city of Newport News the money it costs them to house the hundreds of displaced men, women, and children staying in hotels until the building is fixed. Burnett showed up to court Friday hoping for better news, but the answer she got is not the one she hoped for. I don't know if I should buy a house. I don't know if I should rent a house. I'll never go back in an apartment because the simple fact is I never know when it's going to happen again. In Newport News, I'm Alex Little Hales for 13 News Now. A city spokesperson told 13 News Now city leaders will extend the hotel stays until July 14th.